What's up? Duncan the Highlander here. Be bold, everybody. If you can see, the cornrows already exploded. My life is just too rough for my hair. Grappling and stuff. Even the front, they already went. But um, these still stay all curly. But none of that matters. Um, as everybody knows right now, the big news and talk of the day is the video that came out between Conor McGregor and Polly Malinaji. Polly Malinaji. There we go. So... What I decided to do, just like everybody else and their mother, is make a little breakdown of the sparring. At the very end, during the credits, I have a little clip, a little audio clip, that I'm going to try to put again in the next video that I make, or the next um, Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather video that I make, that I hopefully plan on getting out there soon. But, hope you guys like this, and with that in mind, please, if you guys like these videos, please click share. If you guys like this, please share, tell all your friends, that's the best way you guys can help me. And of course, get at me at GoFundMe or Patreon. Thank you guys. Oh no, that one was kind of sad. Take two. Well, be bold, it's been a little bit since I've done this, huh? But uh, yeah, and um, in a beautiful world, I plan on fighting in September, and hopefully again in November. So stay tuned for that too. Here it is, the 24 seconds that blew up the internet. Stop right there. Let's go. You're going to see Conor McGregor start off right away here with a 1-2-1. One, one. Right off that one, he goes right to a collar tie, right to the behind the neck, trying to pull him back. You see him landing some little shots here. Now, Polly goes for a boxing-style clinch, which, as you can see, doesn't do much more than stall. Now, from here, the ref breaks them up. Now, you're going to see Conor McGregor's out far. This is kind of like a kickboxing MMA range. This is what people say when they're talking about those MMA angles. Now, from out here, you see that he's able to land that left hand even though Polly wasn't expecting him to be able to break that distance. Once again, he misses his jab, but he immediately goes right to a collar tie. You see him using this collar tie so that he can keep Polly off balance. You see, this is what we mean by roughing him up. As he's moved him, he now has opened up another opening for the left hand, which he sneaks right in, throws in another flurry. Now, once again, as his head is pointing down, he uses that hand to push him off to really land a strong left hand. Now let's see this again in slow-mo all the way through. So really pay attention here for this left hand. This is the one that lands really hard. Notice how far away Conor McGregor is before this left hand lands. See, nice and far. Now watch, as Polly goes to weave, look at the last one where his hand is completely elbow turned up. Look at how much power he's pushing into him to really get him off angle to set him up for that left hand. Now look at how low Polly is bobbing his head. This is something you clearly can't get away with in MMA or kickboxing. Right? Look at how low he bobs his head. Now the second time he goes to do this, Connor immediately goes for that collar tie again, keeping him off balance, keeping his face pointing down so that he can't even see that uppercut. Now again, from a different angle, watch how the second McGregor misses his punch, he goes right to that collar tie, pointing Polly's face right down towards the ground so he literally can't even see what's coming at him. Let's see this again in full speed. I am opposed to any predictions about the future due to the fact of my belief, and this is our whole subject here, I want to repeat this, uh, our belief is that we are at a millennium, a special hinge of history, which is more than a speed bump. And therefore, what we do and say matters. And more than other times, the future is up to grabs. And when you say that you have a vision of it, that uh, if that means that you're going to sit down and not work to create that vision, then you're in big trouble because things are very much in a meltdown. We are between the caterpillar and the butterfly. And the butterfly could be an angel or a devil. Suppose that it actually mattered what we thought, what we did, what we created, the stocks that we bought, the detergent that we bought, and every single thing that we did mattered a thousandfold more than any other times. Then it's important that we do not predict the future. We work to create the future. That is our responsibility in a millennial moment more than other moments. That's what has to happen. So don't ask about 2010, build it. That's what we say, right? Yeah.